Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today we're going to learn about six simple ways to be happier every day. Now, let's begin. Number one, organizational well being. Do you ever feel disorganized, aimless, or lazy? Many people struggle to find happiness when their lives are out of order. You spend so much of your time wondering what you're going to do that you don't do anything, and that drives you crazy. So, how do you organize your life in a way that improves your happiness day after day? Just think about the purpose of organization. You organize your life to improve your well-being. Organizing your schedule, for example, relieves stress, soothes anxiety, and it increases productivity. When your life is ordered and controlled, you can stay on top of your priorities, and that gives your mood, your confidence, and your attitude a much-needed boost. That's why many happy people incorporate organization rituals into their daily lives. They don't wait for their lives to fall out of order, instead they stay on top of their schedules. If they have a busy day tomorrow, they plan their itinerary the night before. If they're struggling to stay afloat, they carve spaces in their schedule ahead of time to relax and unwind. There are dozens of different rituals that you can use, all of which organize your life in a unique way. Some people plan their entire weeks every Sunday so they can make time for everything they want to do. Other people sit down with their calendars and to-do lists every evening, preparing themselves for the day to come. Experiment with a few different organizational strategies and find one that works for you. Use this simple ritual to organize the chaos of your life. Because life can get out of control in the blink of an eye. Before you know it, you have a hundred responsibilities on your plate. By creating an organization ritual, you can make time for your responsibilities, streamline your productivity, and increase your happiness while you're at it. Number 2. Enjoying the Outdoors How much time do you spend every day sitting at your desk? Chances are you spend more time in your workspace than you should. You work at your desk, you eat at your desk, you play games, you watch videos, and you try to relax at your desk. My point is, you rarely leave this one stale environment, and that bad habit may be damaging your happiness. Because 99% of our lives revolve around our workspaces, our houses, and our technology, most people spend inordinate amounts of time indoors. But your brain wants to engage with the outside world. Even if you're not a fitness nut or a born adventurer, it's important to expose your mind to the outdoors. A short five-minute walk around your neighborhood can transform your attitude. Interacting with nature can also broaden your thinking, increase your motivation, and sharpen your memory. But most importantly, the natural world makes you happy. You feel the sun warming your skin and the cool breeze blowing through your hair. You listen to the sounds of birds in the trees, and you watch the clouds drifting across the sky. Suddenly, you feel happier. You feel lighter, fresher, and more energetic. If you were struggling with laziness or boredom before, you've become inspired and motivated. Many people don't realize the difference getting outside can make. So find time to enjoy the outdoors every day. Take a walk, sit in the grass, go for a swim. Give yourself the opportunity to experience a different environment, and your happiness will come naturally. Number 3. Making a Sacrifice Happiness is selfless and altruistic. In other words, one of the best ways to help yourself is to help someone else. According to a study in the Journal of Happiness Studies, we experience a significant boost when we choose to make sacrifices for other people. In this study, participants were divided into two groups. The first group purchased an object for themselves. The second group purchased the same object for someone in need. Of the two groups in this study, who do you think was happier? Researchers discovered a huge disparity between Group 1 and Group 2. The second group was much happier than the first because they assisted someone less fortunate. It turns out we experience the largest burst of happiness when we're improving someone else's life. It gives us a sense of purpose, meaning, and self-worth. That's why giving back is such an exceptionally rewarding experience. You're not just helping someone in need, you're teaching yourself the power of sacrifice. So, if you don't already, make these acts of service a part of your regular routine. Every week, spend two hours caring about someone else. If you don't have time, set aside a small portion of your paycheck to donate to a charity you support. Whatever method you choose, create opportunities in your life to help the less fortunate. 
It improves their well-being. It raises their quality of life. But it's a two-way street. Every time you make a sacrifice, you're giving yourself an even greater gift. Number 4. Giving Compliments Compliments are powerful. One nice comment can brighten your day, can change your attitude, and lift your spirits. All right, let's say someone goes out of their way to compliment your work, your intelligence, or your sense of humor. Suddenly, you feel recognized, and that recognition leaves you beaming for the rest of the day. If compliments have such a positive impact on your mood, then why not give the same feeling to other people? If you want to live a happier life, then be a source of happiness in other people's lives. Go out of your way to recognize the quirks and characteristics of the people in your life. Find something that you love about them and give them a genuine compliment. Tell them how much you admire their work ethic. Express how clever you think they are. Compliment the way they laugh, the beauty of their smile, or that funny way they move their hands when they talk. Now, you might be thinking, wouldn't that be awkward? Or, I'm sure they hear compliments all the time. But compliments are rare in the world today. Most people hear more criticism than praise, and they internalize a negative narrative or self-image. But you can turn that negativity around. One nice comment can unravel years of criticism and insecurity. Oh, but that's not all. It's not just about lifting other people's spirits. A compliment has an equally important effect on you. Just like helping the less fortunate improves your happiness, giving a compliment feels better than receiving one. When you give a compliment, you know you positively affected someone else's life. When you see them smile and laugh, you know that you're the person who brought happiness in their world. And that is a powerful feeling. So give more compliments than you get. Tell them what you like about them. Make a stranger smile, and you'll find yourself smiling right alongside them. Number 5. Acknowledging Unhappiness Sometimes the best way to find happiness is to explore your unhappiness. Because happiness is a temporary experience, no one's happy all the time. You get bad news, you make mistakes, you fail despite your best efforts. When these things happen, you may feel unhappy in the moment. Maybe you're feeling insecure, indecisive, or stressed. But those are valid and valuable emotions. When something negative happens in your life, you don't have to pretend to be happy. In fact, pretending to be happy makes the problem worse. So, no matter how you're feeling, try to acknowledge what went wrong and validate the emotions that you're experiencing. Give yourself time and space to recover, cut yourself some slack, and allow yourself to be unhappy. Unless you're willing to be unhappy or unsatisfied, that lingering negativity will affect your long-term happiness. It's also important to actively work through your negative emotions. Once you recognize them, take steps to relieve the stress weighing on your shoulders. Take a walk outside, help someone in need, give someone a compliment, and make someone else's day. Every single one of the habits of this list can help you overcome feelings of unhappiness. So if you've been ignoring your problems, it's time to look your negativity right in the eye. Identify what's wrong, reflect on the path that guided you here, and then find ways to remind yourself just how enjoyable life can be. Number 6. Unplugging your life How much of your day do you spend staring at a screen? Between our phones, our computers, and tablets, our brains are constantly using technology. On each screen, you're navigating hundreds of buttons, applications, and programs. You're overloaded with information, and that information can impact your attitude and happiness. But there's one simple way to give your mind a break. All you have to do is unplug. Step away from all the technology in your life. Put your phone away, close your computer, turn off your music, and challenge yourself to spend an hour, one hour, 100% technology-free. During that hour, engage with hobbies that you don't need a screen to enjoy. Read books, write in a journal, sit on the floor and savor a few moments of peace and quiet. Freeing your mind from technology gives you a chance to decompress. You feel a sense of relief. You feel like time is moving incredibly slowly. And by the time your hour is up, you return to your devices with a new outlook on your day and your work. Unplugging from technology also teaches you to be mindful of your surroundings. It decreases your need for instant gratification. And most of all, unplugging gives you a chance to reconnect with yourself. This can significantly improve your self-esteem and your confidence. 
you'll feel a sudden sense of control over your life. Instead of feeling overwhelmed and sluggish, you'll feel empowered to live the way you want to live. Hey, thanks for watching Top Think and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.